From dogs that could haul heavy goods to a dog that is an all-around super guard dog. Today on Facts Base, we look at the five strongest dogs in the world. There are many ways that could describe the strongest breeds of dog in the world. Some may go for dogs that have super lock jaws that refuse to let go, and some may go for the sheer size of a dog alone. Let's take a look at the dogs that have many strengths all around. Weighing in at 110 to 132 pounds for a male and 77 to 106 pounds for a female, the Rottweiler is usually colored black and tan and is one of the oldest breeds of herding breeds with a history that is said to go back as far as the Roman Empire days. Known in Germany as the Rottweiler Metzgerhund, which translates to Rottweil Butcher as they used to pull the butcher's carts to the markets and have been used in the past as a herding breed. In more recent times, they've been trained to be used as police and guard dogs. They can also be trained to be used as a rescue dog and even a blind dog. Classed as being very self-confident, they have a very good willingness to work too. They can be friendly towards their owners, but can also be very territorial too, however. Socialization and continuous training is a must if you want the best out of your Rottweiler. In some parts of the world, more so in the 1990s, this breed has been labeled as a devil dog and has been known to have been involved in fatal attacks. This is usually brought on by the dog being trained badly or purposely trained that way. Some devil movies like The Omen also have helped in giving them this name. The Alaskan Malamute weighs in at an average of 85 pounds for a male and 75 pounds for a female. This breed has excellent strength and endurance and is also used to haul freight, although now is more commonly known as a sled dog. This breed has the likings of a Siberian Husky and the Canadian Eskimo dog and was said to be in the Americas as far back as 12,000 years ago. This very powerful breed is also used for sledding or mushing, which is a recreational sport in more wintry places. Malamutes are also mostly friendly house and family dogs too. They're mostly careful around the house in general, although they need plenty of time outside in the snow as that's just something they really enjoy. Alaskan Malamutes may not be the best dog in the house as a guard dog and are more likely to howl than bark like your average house dog. They have an average lifespan of up to 16 years and in 2010 was named the official dog of Alaska. Next up we have the Dogo Argentino, weighing in at an average of 88 to 99 pounds for a male and 77 to 88 pounds for a female. This breed was first bred in 1928 and is the product of crossing the now extinct Cordoba fighting dog with a mixture of other breeds which included a Great Dane, English Bulldog and Bull Terriers, so it's no surprise that it makes this list. A Dogo is a very athletic breed and very muscular, usually having a short white coat. They were bred for hunting wild boar and other big game hunting. Dogos can be brought up around children, but only if they are trained or used to being social around people. Due to their excellent stamina and lack of fear, some Dogos have been brought up in places where dogfighting still exists. The fighting trained Dogo are not the type of dogs for obvious reasons that should be kept around families and children. Dogos are banned outright in the Ukraine, Australia, Iceland, Singapore, Cayman Islands, and they're also banned in the United Kingdom under the Dangerous Dogs Act of 1991, which is probably down to the fighting breed of Dogo, but they're allowed with authority permits from the law. Dogos can have hearing problems too, as high as 10% of the breed are known to go deaf. At number two on this list is the Caucasian Shepherd. It was a close call with the Tibetan Mastiff, although they are different breeds totally, they have similar qualities, so I chose the Shepherd. This very large dog weighs in at 110 pounds minimum for a male and a minimum of 100 pounds for a female. This breed of dog was very popular in Russia when it was known as the USSR, but mainly Georgia and Armenia. Although it's classed as being from Russia, this is only so as this shepherd is registered as being from there, while the breed's native origin is Georgia, where it is the most popular overall. It is one of the Molosser breeds of dog, one of the Caucasian mountain dogs which gets their name from the Caucasus Mountains where they come from. The training of this breed has to be very specific up to 9 months, an expert trains them from 7 to 9 months after the initial forming period. They do not mix with other dogs very well and can get out of hand easily and can be hard to handle due to their size and power. They have very full-on guardian instincts. They must be trained early for them to adapt that not all humans are enemies. They can be a family dog, but for safety it's advised to train them from an early age. 
The Sivas Kangal originates from the Sivas province of Turkey and is a very strong, powerful, and certainly alert breed of dog. It is an early type of mastiff and is a livestock guardian, not a dog that rounds up sheep like a sheepdog, but one that sits and protects the sheep from the likes of bears, jackals, and wolves. Some that have been exported to Africa are capable of fending off lions and cheetahs too. It is also great with families too due to the breed's protectiveness and loyalty. A male Kangal will weigh in at around 110 to 180 pounds, while a female hits the scales at about the same weight as the male. It is common for Kangals to have cropped ears. This is so that when they are on guard protecting flocks or whatever they're guarding, they can hear better, as the ear flap is not blocking the hearing passage to their ears, although cropping is banned in the UK. This dog is very clever and good at the job at hand. It will place itself on a higher ground than the flock it is guarding for an advantage, and if there's any sign of danger, it will make a sound to let the flock know so that they can gather around near the dog. There is also a Kangal that is a specifically trained wolf killer known as the Kirkkull Kangal, 